Just happy to be here. Um, never seen this coming. They uh, surprised me. Uh, like I said, I'm excited, very excited about it, very happy to for it. Uh, could have been without my teammates at the time, my family, my friends. Uh, it's everybody, man. It took part in them in years I was here. It was, it was a blessing. Uh, got me where I'm at today. And truly excited about being here. Big question, Steve's got the first one. JP, how did you find out about this? Was it a phone call out of the blue? And did you have any semblance that it was coming? I, I did. They, they've been trying to get me to do it for a, a few years, kind of, but it's been like kind of telling me, but not really. And this year, uh, it was really only about coming down and getting done this year. And I was like, yeah, I'll be here. So uh, it kind of surprised me, like, but really not. But I was excited for it. Questions? Any questions? Yeah, Steve, you got the question. Shane Bieber was around a little bit during your recruitment and things like that. What do you think about, well, first of all, what do you remember about that time making the decision to come to South Carolina? And what do you think of uh, what he's done with the team so far? I, I think recruiting is very big in, in uh, college football. I think it's all about recruiting a lot. Uh, during that time, I had a great recruiting staff. Uh, like I said, uh, Coach War recruited me a lot. Uh, big, big on my floor. And then the guys I played with at the time, Steph Hardy, get one came through my own time. Jared Dixon came from my same team I played on. So it was kind of easy for me. It was 45 to an hour from home. So my family could come and watch me. So that's why I that's how I made my decision. Yes, ma'am. Um, Jamal, you have you been back to Columbia before now? I, I think it was like three years ago. Okay. So what has it been like for you back this time? Are there any memories you're oh, living man, since you've been here? Yeah, I miss it. Uh, I miss college football. I'm like so so different from NFL football. It's like much more rowdy or turned up. Like it's crazy. It's the atmosphere is so much different than the NFL atmosphere. Uh, it's like a true brotherhood in this locker room than the NFL locker room. Like y'all got families up there. Here is like the kid. We all first getting out on our own. And we got other guys on our team in our same situation that we was leaning on at the time. And, and uh, you know, I felt like this chip was a lot different. Um, that ship on our shoulder was a lot different because of the guys in that locker room. It was much different, much different respect. Uh, your jersey is being retired tonight, but your number isn't. Have you talked to Spencer Rappler all about wearing number seven and kind of carry that on here? Uh, no, not yet. I looked at uh, it's two guys that's wearing it's another defensive end wearing it too. Uh, I looked that up. I was like, okay, I got to check this guy. I hope he has his bone. I'm, I'm much more worried about him than the quarterback. Uh, but no, I just hope they go out there and ball, man. Anybody, all the guys really there put that USC jersey on. It's, it's, a, it's an honor to wear it. And uh, I feel like they just go out there representing the name on the back and do their thing. And that's what I expect from the guys to go do. Hey, Jadavion, when you when I talk to recruits, they say, hey, I want to be the next Jadavion Clowney. I want to be the next Stephon Gilmore, next Connor Shaw. For you, what does it mean to you to be a part of that legacy of Gamecock football? Uh, that's crazy to me. Uh, because I don't, I, I can't say when I was playing and coming up, I never thought there's a lot of nobody that would be like me because I always was doing it for fun and never seen it taking me nowhere. Even in high school, I used to tell the story to everybody. Like, man, my mom never was like, this is what you need to be doing. It was like something you just, I just did. And she, everybody just tell me how good I was and she didn't even pay no attention. And then college, you just got kept going and then, boom, it just happened. And we just was kid in the backyard playing football growing up, and that's what I did growing up. Just love playing, it's like my outlet. I felt like, and I uh, just kept playing, and it got me into where I'm at today. Go a little in front. obviously, the hit, people know you for the hit, but what would your other mem memory or, or two that sticks out to you uh, during your career? Uh, probably, was the one game I felt like uh, when Marcus Lattimore got hurt, I think we was always down on that sideline, and I had a big sack against Tennessee to end that game to force that fumble. Uh, I watched that play all the time. That was another memory, and uh, probably them sacks on Clemson, I had like five sacks in that game. I was excited about that too. Michael. Uh, obviously, your name's going to be up there with the likes of George Rogers and Sterling Sharp. One, what's that like for you? And two, have you heard from either of those guys? I can't hear you. Your, your name's going to be up there with George Rogers and Sterling Sharp. Um, 
one, what's that like for you? And two, you know, have you heard from those guys since uh, it was announced? You know, he's a high for trophy one. Everybody want to win. I think only certain people that were really win that thing. So uh, yeah, for me, being the other side of the high for one, it's, it's, it's phenomenal, especially for me and my family. Uh, I always wanted to represent my last name as best as I know. And what other way than getting film the board uh, for my team that I played for in college? It's a blessing and all. And, uh, I haven't really heard from him, but. I've just been playing and trying to stay focused on doing my thing, still in the NFL, so still trying to have a great year this year. Thank you, Cameron. What's your thoughts on the culture uh, Shane Beamer has built so far here in Carolina? Uh, I feel like it's a little different. Um, I always felt like that this uh, comes down to recruiting for me. I'm like, who getting the, who getting the players in there? Whenever I say, they say a new coach, I said, look, it's all about who you bring in there and change the culture. Uh, so. They be playing for the guy next to you. Know, I always feel like that's what it's become to me. That's what it became to me in, in college football. It's like I'm playing for this. This is my real brother. And I always felt like them guys was my brother. Like them who I kept talking to to this day, to these years. Like those are my real brothers. Not from high school, and not from the NFL. It was them same guys from college. And uh, I feel like that's what the difference between our team. We was more tighter. And I don't know if that's the culture here yet, but I would hope so. That's the that's what I would want to carry. Like that's your brother. That's who you playing for. You play a lot different. When for somebody to care about. Must be kidding.